Sean Sewell with Engagement.com podcast. Welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to go over what it was like working with Pavel, Brett Jones, and Fabio Zonin last week for the Strong First Teachers of Strength, as well as the Strong First Program Improv Seminars. So this is my third time getting to work with Pavel in our gym, Existence Athletics, here in Denver, Colorado, at the Platte Park location specifically. And uh, every time I get to work with him, he's just a, such a down-to-earth, kind, and direct person. And this is my first time getting to meet Fabio Zonin. In fact, Fabio and Annalisa came into our other location, Existence um, Athletics Original, well, let's say the OG location where actually I train out of. And I got to meet them and hang out with them and just such great, humble, approachable people. And then, of course, um, one of my highlights of the whole experience was getting to meet and work with and hang out with Brett Jones. I had met Brett Jones in 2017 at a Strong First SFG Level 1 event. Um, it's my second time going through SFG, and he was uh, the head of the whole thing right there. Uh, that's where I also met my friend and colleague and fellow engagement writer, Ryan Humphreys, whom now I work with every day. It's a uh, true joy working with Ryan. So a lot of great things around Brett Jones not just with strong first but also he's been on the podcast as well uh, a few times now and several times in the future i'm sure uh, wealth of information movie quotes uh, just a really fun great person so i got to hang out with him and uh, we had a meeting of the single malt society so we had some uh, oban 14 and um, swapped some good stories and smiles and then the next four days we got to work we turned our gym into a production studio to host. Um, I think we had 40 or 50 people in person and then another 50 or 100 online each day. So uh, thanks to Brett's uh, camaraderie and, and leadership, we were able to get the assistance and everybody that was helping out. And I, I hate to use the word assistance because we're all on the same team and carrying the same amount of load here. Uh, I was very fortunate to have um, help on this one. I had great help on Friday from my friend Kelly and his wife, Joanna. Uh, Joanna did a great job organizing the event, uh, especially with Brian, Brian's new director of operations. Uh, did a fantastic job with that, and it was great joy hanging out with Brian on Saturday night as well. And then on Saturday, um, my assistant was Annalisa. She uh, just fantastic with that, and Sean Cairns from Australia. So they handled all the questions while I was able to focus on the cameras and audio to work with Pavel and Fabio there. And on Friday, Brett... Uh, led the Teachers of Strength, which is the um, first time in two and a half years we were able to have that meeting. And we went through for five hours plus the best practices on techniques for the kettlebell, the barbell, as well as body weight. And so for the kettlebell, uh, Brett did the majority of that. And you bring up people to demonstrate on, especially Derek Toshner. Congrats on being um, master SF or master instructor now. And, um, and then Karen Smith came up for the body weight and then Doc Hartle, who I've had the great pleasure of having on the podcast a few times, as well as going through the SFG and SFL with him and Sean Cairns and Jeremy Layport and Jason Marshall went through and demonstrated the barbell curriculum with Fabio. So it's, it's a jam packed weekend of, of learning and hanging out and meeting people and seeing people I haven't seen teachers I've learned from for the last seven, eight years and seen them in person. It was a great joy. Uh, but again, especially Brad Jones, just really great working with him and getting to hang out with him and uh, just a really, really great person. And um, if you're curious about the setup I used to record it, um, I can do a separate episode or a separate YouTube video walking you through. It's a really pretty fun setup. Every time I do one of these, I learn something new on how to do it better. You can always do better. So on this one, uh, I use the ATEM Mini Extreme, which is an eight channel HDMI switcher. So I had five cameras and then the ability to do a couple additional, um, a laptop. Fabio had a laptop, Pavel had a laptop, and I had a extra room to do a couple more cameras. So I had great more flexibility to get different angles and make sure I had enough inputs to accommodate any kind of presentation possible. So the people online could see uh, the presentation just as well as the people in person on the projector. So, um, it's a really fun setup. And then um, audio-wise, I used the Rodecaster Pro, the multi-channel mixing board, with four sets of Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones. 
And uh, I thought that was excessive to have four sets, but I tell you what, when you have three or four people speaking for five to 12 hours straight with no breaks, typical strong first style, just go, go, go. Uh, and the battery life is seven hours claimed on paper, but in real life it's more like five. You, uh, That was the nerve wracking part is watching the meters go down to the red and then trying to frantically hot swap out receivers and transmitters uh, to, to make sure we had the ability to capture the audio uh, to share online as well as recording. I recorded the whole event, both events, and I'm going through editing, and that's been a nice challenge. Um, it's not as simple as just pushing the red button to record, and you definitely can't just use a, a GoPro or an iPhone to just record for 12 hours straight. <laughs> does not work. That device will catch on fire. So uh, I used Panasonic G5 Mark II, the G9, uh, G7, and a Sony camera as my cameras to capture, but then I had all the HDMI cables going out and recording into a 2 terabyte SSD card out of the A10 Mini Extreme. I'm probably getting pretty nerdy for a lot of people, and I'm sorry, but somebody out there, probably several people, are finding this really fascinating. Long story longer, it took a lot of resources and a lot of preparation to make sure that it went well, and um, and it did. It went really well, but uh, the audio and video is off by about half a second every two minutes, so I've got 20 hours of video to edit every two minutes trying to sync up the the audio to the mouth moving. It's It's tedious. So, anyways, uh, fun labor of love there for sure. And uh, the content itself from the programming improv was really amazing. Um, I really enjoyed the teachers of strength going through the just the little details, the minutia that makes every movement more efficient, safer, and more effective. So uh, you, you'll probably be apprised of these benefits and techniques over the next six months to a couple years um, as they revise their curriculums for the SFG, SFB, SFL, SFG2, and other seminars too. So and I was really, <laughs> really quite honored. Um, in the first hour, Fabio came by and asked me if I want to go to Italy for the next event. And of course I said yes, but unfortunately I will not be able to go to Italy for this next event as I'm working with Patagonia and a bunch of companies during the Outdoor Retailer Week here in Denver which um, I'm a little bit bittersweet about because it's the last time we're hosting uh, the outdoor retailer here in Denver. It is moving back to Utah, um, to much dismay from a lot of people. Um, it's unfortunate because the outdoor retailer show is, is one of my favorite events, and it happens twice a year, once in the summer, once in the winter. And we go there with our team of 6 to 8 to 10 people from Engearment with cameras and wireless microphones and gimbals and coffee, and we go interview every company you can possibly think of for the outdoor recreation world. And so we're going to make the most of this one, uh, which is going to be fun, eh, but also is why I'm not able to go to Italy for uh, the next Strong First event, unfortunately. But uh, it should be a really good one. The program improv, I believe, is the first week of June. So you can find that on strongfirst.com and sign up for it. That'll be with Pavel and Fabio Zonin in, in Fabio's home country. What else can I tell you? Uh, we have a lot of reviews, probably more reviews than I can remember off the top of my head. I don't have a cheat sheet in front of me. I probably should. But um, during last week while working with Strong First, I was working with Patagonia on a project. Um, All Birds as well, um, under embargo until May 17th, but I have a pair of shoes from All Birds that is really awesome. Can't tell you what the name is. I signed an NDA, but... Uh, the video is shot. It'll be live on May 17th when the shoes go live. I can tell you they are really really nice shoes so um the lightest ones yet from them too sweet mystery ranch love working with them we have 20 reviews with them so far five more on the way uh last week i got up an unboxing video i've done a thousand videos over a thousand review videos on our youtube channel but I never do unboxing videos it's just not my thing but um they asked me to do an unboxing one so I did it, and it was fun because uh, I had never seen this product, unboxed it live, and then it, it went live a couple hours later, uh, so I believe we're the first video in the world on that backpack, and the backpack is actually hand-sewn in Bozeman, Montana, it's a Bozeman special blend line, so uh, yeah, I'll put links below for that as well, and I'm currently testing out the Mystery Ranch Blitz 35 backpack, it's an everyday carry backpack on steroids. It's definitely military inspired and it's got the molly points and lashes everywhere. It is completely overkill for my purposes of uh, everyday carrying. Well, I carry a lot of stuff on my person. Uh, 
MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, iPad Mini, a second screen. Yeah, second screen. Those of you watching the video, stay tuned for this review. It's a 15 inch screen that also doubles as a monitor for the cameras, which I've found really helpful, hence why I have it on a tripod. So I can see when I'm shooting videos in the middle of nowhere, snowstorms, and uh, the little flippy screen on most cameras does not cut it. So having a 15 inch high definition screen cuts it. The right tool for the right job. So I carry that. Uh, four or five cameras in my backpack and tripod. So yeah, I carry a lot of stuff. So it's nice to have something like a Mystery Ranch backpack with their suspension system to carry all of that. Uh, split boarding season is wrapping up. I did get out last Wednesday for a little bit of exercise and I was pleasantly surprised by eight inches of fresh snow. It was snowing sideways, which is absolutely breathtaking and beautiful. And it's funny, as I was getting uh, my first lap in, I had a great video going and the snow's going over my head and in my beard and I just it was the best day of the year, honestly, which is saying a lot. And I get to the bottom of the run and I was like, oh, that'd be great. I can share this with my wife and put this on social media that people can live vicariously through it. Go to push end recording and it never started recording. Oh, that feeling, which was motivation to go back up the mountain and do it again. So got a bonus couple thousand feet of vertical and a little extra exercise, especially after being so um, uh, static working at cameras for three days straight with no breaks. So, uh, but we have some more split boarding reviews coming up. Um, so stay tuned for that. Cardiff, especially looking forward to working with them on some more split boarding reviews. Spark R&D, working on some projects with them for their new surge bindings that come out in the fall. We've had them for the last three months. Brian Mack will be doing the review on that. One of our writers, Evan Green, is currently going for a summit push with his all people of color team for North Face. How cool is this? Um, full circles, uh, their their startup. Uh, you can follow them on on social media and their website, and they're making a push for the summit for Everest today. It's just so proud of Evan and his team. It's so exciting. Uh, Raphael Peace, uh, one of my my good friends, Raphael from Chile. This is he's working on a project. Uh, this is his fifth full feature movie. Um, I don't know more details than other than the, I just saw a teaser um, link on it yesterday or day before. So looking forward to that. His last one was with Jeremy Jones uh, for Teton Gravity Research. And it was on tour all this winter. So it's going to be a, a really good um, entertaining show with really good production value. So looking forward to checking out Raphael's movie when it comes out. Uh, writers are doing great stuff. Uh, Will Rickards and Modest Yahoo Cecil went out for a private guided fly fishing trip last Tuesday with Buff. Yeah, the people who make the neck buff and the and hats and stuff like that. Took them on in a great adventure, outfitted them, and they each got their own guide all day long on a two-mile stretch of private water. Modest caught over 40 fish. He had a grand slam in the morning, caught every kind of fish in the creek, and then in the afternoon, same thing. I, he's an avid fisherman, which is why he covers all the fishing uh, gear reviews. He's just really good at it. And Will Rickards and his son Kai are going to go out to uh, Pacific Northwest here in the next week or two, I believe for Shasta. Always these big objectives in the late spring, early summer. So they'll be outfitted with some gear, uh, I believe MSR and Thermarest. And um, the riders are just doing so much. I, I really did not have the script planned for this, and so it's, it, I'm going to miss 9% of what they're up to. But just check out Engearment.com or follow us on Engearment Instagram or, of course, on our YouTube channel if you want to see the reviews. Um, but there's uh, 41, 42 riders now. Uh, Dan Jimenez, uh, the co-owner of Existence Athletics, where we hosted the Strong First seminars, just joined a week ago. He's working on some Mystery Ranch backpacks. He's in Hawaii with his family, so he can offer this island-style review. So it's fun. We have the mountains over here. We have Hawaii over there. Then we have Everest, and then we have the Andes, uh, and then we have Andrew Piotrowski on the East Coast, Chesapeake Bay Area, covering all the water sports stuff. Uh, and we just have a, a very wide, diverse group of riders, men and women and grandparents and kiddos and all kinds of outdoor recreation. It's just really exciting to see. Honestly, and I just, it's so fun when articles come in. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps right now, as you can see on the screen. I'm just talking about this because I'm just so grateful and so excited for the writers and what they're up to. An article will come in or a video will come in. I'm like, wow, I learned a whole lot. One, two, 
that looks like fun. Three, I'm super excited to see their excitement and then they get to share it with you. So it's, it's a fun thing. It's a really, really fun thing we get to do here. And it's not easy work though. It's, it's hard work, anything worth doing. It's probably not easy, but uh, it's a labor of love. Like I mentioned earlier with the strong first events, it's, um, we love what we get to do. So with that in mind, I think I got this done in 15 minutes, cut you up, said the thank yous. And now I get to go to the gym that I built 10 years ago for the first time in over two years. I've not been there since the day it closed down for COVID. I recreated the gym, not only in person, but virtually. So I have a 50 inch monitor. I have the wireless microphones, use the road wireless goes right here. Um, webcams, dedicated computers and systems. So I can bring sound in through again, I'm getting nerdy here. Um, focus, right device. I can bring sound into it for the people online without it clipping just professional. Anything you were going to do, just do it the best version possible. So this one, we're going to have a, a high end hybrid model where you can train in person with the gym, have all the kettlebells, the TRX and the whole facility. I'm going to shoot a video on that, put on YouTube later today. And then we get to do it virtually just as we've been doing it for the last 24 months, but I'm really excited and a little bit choked up to walk into the gym that I helped design and build. I, I worked in a law firm, Brownstein law firm for be 20 years this year. I haven't been back to work as an employee for 10 years, but as a contractor for the last 10, but I haven't been there for 20, 20, 26 months, but two years and two months. So it's going to be really exciting to uh, walk back into the gym that helped create. And uh, yeah, patience is a virtue. I'll leave it at that. Thank you all for uh, the support over the years with Engearment and Colorado Personal Fitness and just in general. Uh, I appreciate it. The team appreciates it. And if there's anything you'd like us to look into or companies we should be looking into working with or that you're curious about, uh, drop us a line, sean at engearment.com or info at engearment.com for the group. And uh, we'll jump into it. We like to find out. We're very curious, just as you are. So until next time, take care. <laughs>